Welcome to Feature of the Week. Today we're going to talk about deploying responsive HTML5 publications. To deploy an HTML5 publication to your website, so basically to copy it to your web server, first you need to export your digital layout as HTML5 publication. Make sure that you create a folder when you export that to your desktop because HTML5 publication consists out of many assets out of many files and folders and otherwise it's going to just clutter your desktop. I'm going to create an export folder. I'm going to click on export and I'm confirming that I have a license for the fonts that I'm using so that they can be embedded and displayed in the website. So when I go to my desktop to my finder and it's the same on Windows, I can see my export folder and I can see that there is many files and also folders being created. So let's assume I want to deploy this on quarkforums.com slash mypub. What I need is I need a website provider, a web service provider that gives me web space and a web server. And very important, this web server has to be JSON compatible. I'll show you in the slides how that is being written. Most web servers do that, but it's very important here. And as you can see, if I open this URL, there's nothing there. So how do we copy that to the web server? Mostly I don't have folder access to my web server as I would have with a file server. So what I need is I need to use an FTP tool. An FTP tool, there's hundreds of them out there, can be free, can be built into your browser, or can be, for example, Cyberduck that I'm using here. As I said, it doesn't really matter that you use the same I'm using, the principle is the same. And I'm going to log in to my web server that's credentials that are received from my provider. And what I'm getting is, I'm basically getting a view that looks pretty similar to my Finder or to Windows Explorer and shows me folders and files that I have already on my web server. So to create the URL quarkforums.com slash mypub, I need to know which folder on my web server is being associated with my URL. So in my case, this is the one that my provider gave me. So everything that's on in this folder here is basically quark.com. So if I want to create a subfolder, I'm going to create a new folder that I just call my pub. And I'm going to open that. So everything in here is referenced with the URL that I want to access. Next thing I do is I just copy and paste everything over. So I'm just copying everything from my finder to my web server using the FTP tool. And to use the URL now, I would have to do quarkforums.com slash mypub, that's my folder, slash index.html. That's really my starting point for my HTML5 publication. The good thing is that most web servers are configured that index.html5 or HTML or HTM is the default that they're going to show if you don't specify a file name. So if I go back to Safari and I'm going to enter that URL again. So as a reminder, I could write index.html5 there too. I won't do that. I'll keep it simpler. And if I do that now, you can see that now my HTML5 publication is loading. And of course, I can use it the way I showed you that before. So next feature of the week, we're going to show you how you can customize this experience. Also, we've been asked, how can you integrate the export that we're seeing here in WordPress or in, in other sites? There's two ways. Either you embed them in an iframe using that URL or you just link to this. Linking is probably the nicer user experience, whereas the other one is more seamless. That's really up to you to decide. How do you deploy HTML5 publications? First, you export the HTML5 publication locally. And don't double click index HTML5 because that's not going to run. HTML5 publications are active, they need to be deployed on a web server. So not all effects will show when you double click. If you want to see that locally, you need to start a local web server or copy it to a web server that you might already have. Copying to a web server, you do using an FTP tool. 
And important, the web server that you copy to needs to support JSON, so J-S-O-N files. Please talk to your service provider to find out whether your web server does. When you want to copy to a specific URL, quarkforums.com slash folder name, you need to copy into the specific folder that resembles that URL.